G'day gamers, Katari here. As requested, this is a full how-to video on my upside down cliff house. I recorded this a while ago as a speed build and I'm reusing the old footage, so it may be a little choppy, but with my voice and my notes on screen, you should be fine being able to recreate this on your own. So let's get started. I spent a considerable amount of time trying to figure out where to start this build so all of the foundations would be hidden within the bridge themselves. And I will put those coordinates for you on the screen right now for that very first foundation piece that I have placed uh, and I hope it helps. It may take some tweaking to get the angle right on your end, uh, so good luck. First you want to step down the foundation pieces about seven times. I only do it six times in the video right here but then later on I have to step down again because it's not quite hidden in another section. So definitely seven, not six. And just in case the on-screen notes aren't quite getting you there, I will find a how-to video and put it in the description below. Now that we're at the right height, we can start placing the foundations. It is incredibly rough to see what is going on inside the cliff itself, so I will provide a semi-detailed picture in the description below. You will probably have a much easier time following along if you focus on the outside and then fill in the middle.
Things can get a little tricky here, so there will be plans in the description. Use them if you like. I mean, every little bit of information will absolutely help you on the next steps. So like it says on the screen, we want to take uh, one step in from the back right hand corner uh, to place our first wall. Here we are going to make a one by two box. Now I call these solid walls and they will be your guides throughout this entire build. Continue placing walls until they poke through the bridge underneath. Along the back wall you need to count over two more places and build yourself another 1x2 box. This 1x2 box is in the same orientation as the first one and you do need to bring those walls down again so they poke through the bridge underneath. Now counting on the left hand side of the build, you want to count over another two places and this time make a 4x1 box. You also want to bring this 4x1 box down level with the other boxes. Now count over four spaces from this corner and make a three by one box here. 
The orientation of this box is so it goes lengthways along the right hand wall. Again, the plans will absolutely help you here and they will be in the description below. Congratulations, the hard part is officially over. Uh, so now you want to bring down all of these solid wall segments, two more walls each, because this will create the top floor for you. floor you need to place a wall in the back corner you'll then be able to snap ceiling pieces to the top of that wall and create the layout since this was just a speed build record I will provide the layout in the description for you We continue this process and bring the walls down another two to create the middle floor. Again, with the wall in the back corner, so you can snap ceiling pieces to the top of it, I will provide the layout for this floor as well in the description. For the final floor, surprise, surprise, we are bringing those walls down another two times. <laughs> Thank you. 
place another wall in the back corner and use that again to snap ceiling pieces to the top of it. You can delete this wall this time, although we will be replacing it much, much later. The layout for this final floor will also be in the description. There is one more solid wall to create in the back left hand corner. This is a 1x4 and extends along the back of the build. This is where the build gets a little bit technical and kind of samesy. I do only speed it up to 200% to help you guys out. However, I do apologize if even at 200% it is a little hard to follow. Like it says on the screen, this works the same way all the way around on every floor. You want to place the sloped thatch walls and then the double door frames and then replace the thatch walls with the greenhouse wall or whatever glass you are using. The trick is getting the door frame into place. You need to push E, Q and E to do this. The Sony and Xbox controls would have been up on the screen just a moment ago. As an added note, you will know that you have the door frame in the correct place because it will be bright green and not that off blue colour. This does continue around on every floor. I do speed it up, like I said, a little bit. So I hope it's easy enough for you to follow along. There will be plans and layouts and stuff in the description. Thank you. 
I'd like to point out here that sometimes you don't need to place the sloped thatch wall, but it definitely, definitely makes it easier. So now that we're onto the roof, you want to snap a ceiling piece in the middle so that it creates a sort of overhang. Once you've done that, you then want to bring that all the way around the outside edge of the build and place walls so they poke up through into the bridge.
Now that we've done the roof, we'll move on to the base. Starting anywhere along the bottom, just place one wall all the way around. Once you've done that, you want to place one wall down and fill in that entire bottom with ceiling pieces. You can delete that extra wall as soon as you place that first ceiling piece. Moving on to the inside, you just want to make a 1x2 space on the bottom floor and the middle floor for the stairs. Once you get up to the top floor, you want to fill in the rest of that ceiling piece to cover the roof. Section off a room here and after this we are going to go onto each floor and place in the doors. And finally, one last step. We're up to the finishing touches. Just wrap both balcony areas with the metal railings. Thank you so much for watching through this tutorial with me. I do appreciate your time and patience as I learn how to create them. If you stick around, there is an extended outro with some scenes of the interior. Thanks again so much. I really appreciate your time.
And we can't forget a quick thank you to my members. I really do appreciate the support. Don't forget you can catch me live over on Twitch Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 6pm Eastern. Thanks again for watching.